really so mad. I literally just recorded a good 10 minutes of footage and my microphone wasn't bloody recording. <sighs> I'm so pissed off. But the show must go on, as they say in Broadway and wherever else they say it. Showbiz. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Darkest Diaries for Hashtag Diary Friday. So, hopefully you kind of stick around for this whole episode. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the longer side of things, but if it is, hopefully you stick around because there's a great message to be portrayed in this one. And if you're going to watch any of these episodes, this is the one to watch because there's a great message and there's a great meaning and I hope you stick around to listen for it. So sit back, grab a snack and let's talk. I kind of like that. I, th- I think we're going to stick with that as my signature podcast intro. I, yeah, I think we'll stick with that. Anything with food in it is honestly amazing. So we'll just stick with that. So, uh, in light of it being Ramadan, I'm kind of giving back to charity. For those of you who don't know what Ramadan is, I'll put like a little definition somewhere here. And you can do your own research on it, obviously. Um, But it's kind of where um, we fast for a extended period of time. And um, it... How do I explain this? We fast for an extended period of time. And then at the end of the day, we get to, like, indulge and drink and eat. Obviously, like, not drink alcohol. Drink water. I worded that wrong. Um, But yeah, you... It kind of puts you in the shoes of poor people and those less fortunate who don't have access to food and who don't have access to water and it kind of encourages you to not take things for granted as basic as food and water because loads of people don't have access to it and those who do have access to water and food kind of take it for granted and don't appreciate it as much as they should and those who do have access to dirty drinking water with cholera and all these other various diseases that are threatening and fatal and like these little children and families are kind of drinking that water and appreciating that water that they have it kind of puts us in the same boat as them just to uh, show gratitude and show appreciation and not take things for granted as basic as they are uh, like food and water so in light of Ramadan happening and in light of like being uh, in light of having this kind of heightened awareness of giving back to the local and greater community this episode is kind of going to be revolving around charities and giving back to the community and kind of things you can do and things we've done personally before I get this episode started I just want to say this is in no way any means of bragging of the money or anything we've donated because that's just stupid this is merely an episode just to Uh, show how much you can give back and kind of highlight the causes and honestly it's quite the opposite of bragging it's to encourage you guys to give money and give back to your local greater community because you know that as much as the world is kind of tops turned right now the local communities just as well as the greater communities do need these donations and do need these kind of um, support from others whether it just be uh kind of verbal support you know everyone needs someone to talk to and it just goes to show that you don't need to give like something physical as a donation it can be anything and you know even if you don't have means to donate I know we've been in the same boat like a few times uh, a few years ago where we wanted to donate we can afford the funds at that moment and it's really like it's really uh puts more restraint on yourself I guess you could say because you want to give back but you can't and I know loads of people are in the same boat right now especially with corona kind of cutting everyone's wages off and stuff like that so even if you can't give back at the moment and if you can't uh, make donations or give anything physical to a charity you can always just pay the attention and time that these charities and causes need and kind of spread awareness and spread word through social media and that doesn't cost that doesn't cost you anything so there's always that so personally um, myself and my family have donated to various charities throughout this month just to kind of you know like just to give back properly and yeah just share the various things we've done um again this is no nothing to brag about i just want to show you guys what kind of charities are out there because before donating to any of these i didn't know like half of these charities so that's just another food for thought, I guess you could say. The more 
the more you get into these charities you're opened up to and the more kind of crisis crisis crises something like that i don't know the word you're exposed to and you see what other people are going through so one of the charities we've donated to is uh five pounds a month to a charity in in installments and it helps build a fresh water tanker in a school in palace school in palestine and you know as much as we take the school fountains for granted um complaining that the water is warm and it is disgusting it's fresh water at the end of the day and it's clean drinking water not laced with diseases and uh, potential potentially fatal uh, potentially fatal bacteria that could kill us in one gulp. It's paid in five pounds a month instalments that helps build a fresh water tanker that can be accessed by school kids, which is a lovely cause. Which is a lovely cause. Also, by the way, I will be leaving all of the um, charities and the places we've donated to in the description below, so you too can also donate to these charities or even just you know share their pages. Um, to show awareness and that doesn't cost you anything and it just takes literally two seconds to copy and paste the link. Um, another charity we donated to is, um, sorry I'm not going to say the names of the charities because I don't know them off the top of my head, I just know the, the causes we've donated to. So um, another thing we've done is we've planted two olive trees, like we've paid to plant two olive trees t um, for a family in Palestine, it provides food and shelter for them. It provides food by like baking it fruits the fruits from the olive tree apparently it supplies some kind of fruits like uh, berries and stuff like that or something like that and they also get shelter from the hot heat especially during summertime they get shelter and there's two of them so they can like create like a tent or like a hammock of some sort which is really good but yeah um that was i think it was 20 pounds for two olive trees or 25 pounds but yeah even yeah, I, I understand like £20 is a lot of money. It definitely was to us a few years ago. You know, we didn't come from a wealthy family and just being able to give so many donations, it really does lift the weight off your, off your shoulders and it makes you feel good knowing that you can donate or at least help to spread awareness if you can't give any money. Um, another thing we done was we sponsored an orphan for a year. So it provides the orphan with anything from from necessities like food and shelter to you know things that we take for granted like education and basic essentials like pads and tampons and any other essentials like toothpaste stuff like that and um, that's from I think 15 pounds a month I think it is and then you can extend it up to 25 pounds a month to give an uh, extended package I think I'm not sure there's loads of charities that kind of give you the option to sponsor an orphan which is really good you know sponsoring a family or an orphan is really good and it's really rewarding and they kind of give you the welcome updates and um let you know how the child or the family is doing which is amazing most of these charities that we've donated to do give the kind of updates that you'd like to see that um uh, how the family is doing and just everything about that lastly we wanted to make a Time term development aside from the water tanker in the school, we wanted to make you know a more permanent solution for a whole community rather than just the school. And we are paying to have a water well built in a in a country that is most in need at that time. So we we don't know about the country just yet, but it's going to be a definite like uh, country in need of aid, need of world aid, and you know, it it's a fresh water well that all of the people in the local community will have access to and uh, above the water well a charity gives you an option to put someone's name on the plaque so we've uh, we've decided to put it in the name of my little sister she's six years old so when she's older she'll have kind of that to look back on and see when she grows up because they do give you pictures and updates of your water well once it's built and yeah um that's i'm not sure how much that is we're paying in install um all of these charities um offer you to pay in installments with no interest or hidden fees or anything like that because it is a charity so um i'll leave all the links below because i'm not too sure about the actual prices of it off the top of my head but um it's, they're all great causes and i really do hope 
you at least you know pay the time and attention to it and share it if you do um, go to look at it and if you do want to make a donation this it's really easy you just type in your details and then make a donation but yeah um donations can even start from as little as two pounds a month to create a fresh under a fresh water um underground pipe in a local community um in a developing country in need of aid so two pounds a month literally that's that's you know bottom of the pocket change to some people and especially when we're spending it on you know various other stupid materialistic things when we could just be helping each other out you know everyone's a human every little helps and two pounds a month that's only <laughs> 24 pounds a year that's less than someone spends that's less than someone could spend could not should could spend on a meal in you know central london i'm not throwing shade to anyone no one at all <laughs> but um, yeah they literally start from as little as two pounds a month to make a change and make a difference and i think some installments can start from one pound a month it just kind of lengthens the time of lengthens the time of when the actual pipe will be built so yeah definitely give it a browse over and just kind of see what you can do for your local or greater community and just kind of heighten your awareness of heighten your awareness of the causes and crises these countries are in at the moment now to do my own part in kind of this whole charity giving thing i've had the idea to do this for about a year now or maybe a year and a half and for those of you who don't follow me on my instagram account you won't know what i'm talking about but um i'm not going to plug it now it's it will be somewhere here or in the description if you do want to check them out but i don't really care if you do or don't um it's just instagram but um this instagram however i really would appreciate if you check it out i've had the idea for a while now to set up a little kind of non-profit charity kind of uh project of my own since i've you know taken a look around in my local community and seen the kind of local problems that I could deal with and I I could deal with and most people overlook and that's homelessness now although I can't provide you know a whole home a whole like a whole home and a whole year supply of food I can do my part and offer little you know bits here and there like you know ready meals for the day or just giving someone a pair of socks or someone you know essentials just general essentials like toothpaste and stuff like that so i've had the idea that i wanted to create a kind of non-profit organization i guess is organized a non-profit project at this stage um where i kind of create little care packages essentially that have various necessities like uh, uh food clothing like clothing donations um food like ready meals and kind of tin cans stuff like that like shelf stable food that can be rationed out for however long the person so desires so they can kind of decide how long they want to utilize the food over whether it be a day or a few days that kind of gives them the option and i also kind of want to give like either the food like as ready meals or as cans or i kind of want to give um like you can buy like the food like the grocery store gift cards like sainsbury gift cards as the gift cards i feel like it would be good to like give them that as a whole donation instead of various other food cans and stuff like that just for them to pick out their own food and see what they'd want and also you can't buy um, like drugs or anything from asses or from supermarkets because i know various people are afraid to give um, like not afraid but do worry that if they give money to say some homeless people you know because a lot of homeless people do take the money and use it for the wrong reasons whether it be alcohol or drugs stuff like that at least you know if you buy like a superstore gift card they could only use it on so much in there although they do sell liquor and cigarettes but um hey um editing me here around about this point and after uh, the camera kind of cuts out so it's just audio so i guess you'll just have to listen to it in the background or something like a like a normal podcast i guess you could say um but hopefully that doesn't compromise the message of this video because it really is a 
a good cause and a good message and hopefully you just you know if you take anything away from this video if you click off after this i completely understand but please do check out the charities i link below and yeah sorry cut out i'm testing out a new camera and new ways of recording but um hopefully you enjoyed it up to this point and if you do um decide to cut out off the video then thank you so much for giving some of your time <laughs> um so it would just be audio from this point onwards enjoy You can only help so much <laughs> so yeah i wanted to create like a care package with like food items or something under the food umbrella and clothing donations like socks and various other necessities that uh, would be of use like socks and hats especially in the winter months after summer passes you know these people are sleeping rough and that can't be easy so blankets stuff like that and I also wanted to give essentials like pads and tampons and toothpaste and things like that because although overlooked they are basic necessities and if we were to go you know a day or a couple of days without it you would notice like how you know how crucial they are to daily life and you do notice when they are gone because they really do impact your daily life and daily living so yeah I've had this Kind of idea to give back to my local community because i i never came from a wealthy family you know we've we've kind of come from the dust and built up from nothing and my mom's put every effort into giving giving us what we have now so we can live comfortably and i don't want to forget where i've come from i don't want to forget my roots you know i want to give back to my local community and hopefully the people who rise up from this and build their way up to will give back and be chain kind of continues hopefully to just lessen the effect of poverty so yeah i've just wanted to give back to my local community and reduce the effects of poverty on the homeless people and create these little care packages to give directly to homeless people um to give to local community centers and to even like shelters and places like that because you know food banks and stuff do exist but it is hard to get onto them um through like paperwork and stuff which these people may not have so giving them the source directly would <laughs> essentially kind of reduce the effects and help because it really is rough you know we never came from a wealthy family and we've experienced first hand you know living pound to pound and it's it's terrible you know trying to get by with food and then trying to <laughs> uh trying to you know trying to get by with food and essentials and not being able to afford pads or tampons sometimes and kind of you know s stretching out pads and tampons so it, it lasts you know a good few hours before you have to change it because you know girls you go you girls know whoever's watching or you people know 2020 you people know whoever uses pads and tampons there it's not pleasant when you have to use it for a exper uh, extended period of time period <laughs> um but yeah i kind of just want to make sure that no one else is in that position because it's a horrible position to be in and i kind of want to help reduce the effects of poverty and help make just make the world a better place one step at a time <laughs> one time one at a time you know, having experienced it having experienced it first and not coming from a wealthy family and kind of building our way up from scratch you know like I'm the first person from my family to be going to uni and I want to like build my way up like the rest of my family they've all built their way up where we've come from and the roots we've come from and we will give back to charity and I kind of want to do the same you know I'm 18 now I I don't have to rely on my parents to handle my charity money or like give one behalf of me I kind of want to take matters into my own hands which is why I've created my little non-profit project. So I announced to you my future plan to create my non-profit project organization thing, I guess you could say, curbside is formerly known as Menstrual Health London. <laughs> curbside Blessings, providing essential care packages to local communities, homeless people, centers, shelters, whatever you want to call it, just 
making the world a better place one package at a time. Now this is a plan for the future not immediately right now. I did want to host it right now like kind of create it because surely the world does need it and the local community does need it in this particular time but um, we can't really do that right now because we're in the middle of moving so I figured as soon as I move and get myself set up there that's when I'd want to start making these little care packages and I have you know friends to help me out help make this happen and by the time that's all set up we will have kind of like a donation site set up and for full transparency obviously I will you know use YouTube and use social media to get the word out there and to show the money is going towards making the care packages because I do not want to be labeled a scammer especially not in the charity industry I guess you could say because that is terrible and whoever uses whoever claims to have a charity and use the money for other purposes is filthy scum and stupid and idiot um yeah but you know hence the name non-profits all donations that come into it will be put back into the care packages to kind of create the packages to be given out and we will be showing on camera and on instagram or wherever we do decide to host this um us giving out the packages and us putting it together because it is going to be like a social media thing i guess you could say to raise awareness you know we have social media platforms we have these huge platforms of millions of people i don't obviously you know i've literally got 37 subscribers um, but we do have the internet and access to millions of people um, who can get the word out there to the world about these local um communities and things you can do for your local community and this was inspired by the sidemen video uh where they spend like a hundred thousand pounds in one hour or something like that and ethan and vic in there actually kind of you know started this up where they gave back to local homeless people through like care packages that they put together so hence curbside blessings for the porn <laughs> but yeah that's kind of where i'm at right now kind of in the whole admin side behind the non-profit project thing I'm trying to put it together before I move so it will be ready and we can all disperse the care packages and kind of get the word out there but um all of the charities and everything I've mentioned will be linked below if there's any links for me to provide um I think there's three charities something like that but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. This has been a longer podcast and when I do eventually kind of um, set up this whole non-profit project thing, I will be sure to let you guys know firsthand because I think I'll just be showing the behind the scenes on here for you guys to see because I feel like that would be a good kind of project for you guys to see and to get the word out there. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you take something away from this video and if you can't, if you can donate please do the links are in the description and you can find various other google links online for even your local communities you know there's local charities like pet shops um that needs donations for like uh rescuing animals that have gone astray and just various other local uh community charities if you don't want to support like greater causes you can support your local community so hopefully you take something away from this video. If you take anything away from this video, just remember to never stop giving, you know, just never stop. So yeah, I think the camera cut out, but if you are still listening, if you are still here, hopefully you've enjoyed this little podcast thing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, evening or night and goodbye.